Hello, my name is Andre Lorbach and I'm the core developer of Log Analyzer. Today I'm going to show you how to install Log Analyzer on a typical Debian system. So in my case I have uh, set up Debian 6.0 and I have already installed Apache, uh, PHP 5 and all that stuff. So if you are going to follow this tutorial, I assume that you have installed th uh, these packages already. In the later step I'm also going to show you how to access uh, your log analyzer installation using a mobile phone. In my case um, I will be using an Android based system on a HTC Desire. First of all let's start with the installation of log analyzer. You go to loganalyzer.ediscon.com uh, there you go to download and you get the latest version of Log Analyzer, which is currently 3.2.1. So once you have downloaded this version, you can go to the um, file system, you go to the var folder and then to the www folder, which is um, the default folder for web for web files, if you have a default Apache installation, you go to the downloaded package and you drag the source folder to the www folder. Once you have done so, you just rename the source folder to log analyzer. Um, and now we can we can go back to the web browser and we will open the local host. As you can see, we have uh, the default Apache website, and I'm just appending log analyzer to the address. Here you see that um, I'm ready to install log analyzer. Log analyzer needs a configuration file. By default, this file can only be created if the web server has wide access to the application folder. As this is typically not the case, you need to create an empty config file manually yourself. So I'm going to the to a prepared shell here and I'm moving to the folder log analyzer. As you can see, nah, can't type even the command. There is no config.php. So I'm creating an empty config.php by simply using the touch command config.php and there you go you have an empty file now you need to um, grant wide access to the file so the web server can write into the file I'm simply doing this by chmod 666 the devil config.php and again and you see the file has wide access so Going back to the installation, I'm clicking on recheck and you see the file is writable. So I'm proceeding to the next step and here you see some basic configuration parameters. I'm going to leave them as they are. You may install the user database here, which I'm not going to do in this tutorial. If you are going to install the user database, you will have a rich featured admin panel which you can use for configuration and such stuff. So if you're going to work with Log Analyzer, I recommend to install the user database system. However, you will need a pre-configured um, empty MySQL database to do so. So in step 7, you create um, our first log stream source, which is, um, in my case, I'm, I will just access the uh, default system syslog file. You may enter another file and you may add other uh, log stream sources later, but first of all you need only one. It's important um, that the web server has read access to the syslog file. If you do not have read access, you will probably not uh, pass step 7. Um, by default the web server does not have access to the syslog file, so you will have to make sure it's readable by the web server. So I'm just going to name it syslog today and proceed to the next step. And as you can see, everything went fine and the configuration file is written and I can go ahead and click on finish. 
I'm going to maximize the window and you see I have all the syslog data from my syslog file and it looks all pretty fine you can scroll through the syslog messages here and you can view them and so on and so on you can filter you can do filtering for example you can view only mysql messages and all this stuff so now as i have installed log analyzer i'm ready to um, show it on my mobile device uh, first of all i will get the ip address of this machine so i'm just typing efconfig and as you can see my ip address is 172.21.0.143 so i'm going over to my mobile phone here I hope you can see it. Uh, it's a little bit bluey. Just a second. Uh, let's get better now. Okay, I'm typing the address here. And as you may see, uh, or not, no, it's not entered. Okay, um, I had the address typed in before, so I'm just clicking on this link here and I'm opening the Log Analyzer web page. Okay, now let's zoom a little bit. Okay, as you can see, I have um, the full web interface of Log Analyzer available. I can do pretty much everything I can do on the computer, like um, click on messages and use them. I can go to the statistics. Where are the statistics samples? Here we go. And they look pretty fine. Once they are loaded, they look pretty fine. Yep. As you can see, very neat. And I can go back to the index page and um, I can do some filtering if I want to. For example, filter for these this log tag here. No, uh, no, just now it got. It's a little bit tricky. Uh, that was okay. As you can see, it's not perfect. Um, but it works, as you can see. It's this is just a typical HTC Desire device using Android 2.2. But you can of course use uh, another device like an, an iPhone or iPad or iPod, or you can use an Android tab. So that's it so far for my tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, just type them below and I will be happy to answer them.